let's learn how to use Google Reader in five minutes or less. Okay, I am on my Google home page, and uh, you may use a different one, but if you use Google as your home page or iGoogle, one of the things you can do is add your reader right over here. So you can see what I have is a nice little gadget where the blogs that I read uh, are here, and anytime there's a new post to the blog, uh, it automatically comes up in my reader. So let's take a look at the Google Reader and exactly what this is. And of course, you can just uh, go to Google and type in Google Reader, and it'll get you there. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with it and you don't have one, what a reader does is it basically is a great way to organize the things that you like to read. Uh, anything that has an RSS feed, RSS is really simple syndication. And it just means that the website is set up to uh, feed every bit of content that goes into it into some sort of reader like Google Reader. So if you read blogs, and if you're a teacher, you really should read blogs because there's a wealth of information from experts in education, technology experts, Web 2.0 experts, uh, other teachers with a lot of experience who are just writing about things they do and it can make you better. It's really free professional development. So let's uh, take a look. This is my Google Reader and right now I, I have it set up in a variety of ways. So as you can see uh, I'm looking at a lot of different blogs. Okay, So these are all websites created by teachers and or, or maybe just ed technology people uh, it, some people that are giving me knowledge that I want and I have found them in various ways and I just wanna make sure that I'm staying up on their content now, this is a lot of stuff so I wanna make sure that I have this managed properly so what I do down here I'm gonna go to manage subscriptions and as you can see I've got all of them coming up in alphabetical order and over here I can rename the actual uh, blog itself. I mean I can't rename this person's blog on her actual website but if I want to choose a different name for it I can. I don't really know why I want to do that so I don't but I might want to put it in a folder and it helps me organize my blogs. So you see down here here's one that's called Education Technology and uh, this one, a Geeky Mama's blog, which is a, a great blog by a very smart teacher, if you're interested in it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Add to Folder, and I am going to just put that one under Educators. Now, I've created this using the New Folder option. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. Uh, Angela Myers is a, another very smart um, blogger, former teacher and now a consultant a lot of great stuff there and what I'm gonna do with this one is I've created a folder called general education and that's because Angela Myers uh, she writes blogs about everything education technology reading writing all kinds of stuff and I'm just gonna continue to do this and uh, that's gonna help organize alright so I go back over here I can set up preferences on my Google Reader uh, I can create tags in that way if someone maybe I have a tag uh, called um, Web 2.0 for example because Learn It In 5 is a Web 2.0 site so anytime someone uses Web 2.0 in their blog I can filter it out that way and find it very easily so that's very helpful let's be clear on how to add things to our blog uh, let's say that I have found a new blog free technology for teachers this is a great one here uh, and and I want to add it now there's a couple of ways you can do it sometimes people just have a feed right on there they have a subscribe button like learn it in five for example I could click subscribe and then that'll take me right to a place where I can put it into my reader but let's go back to this free technology blog and if I don't see something right away what I can do is I can come up to the web browser and I could copy it I'll copy the internet address and I would just go back to my Google Reader and I would come up to add a subscription and I would paste that in and add and that's done and now I've got a new subscription and it pops right up there and uh, I can go ahead and categorize that as well and that is Google Reader in five minutes or less.